So this has been a recurring theme for him. Nice little bender and into right field it goes around third and on his way home. Brett Kay, the throw is cut off in the infield and Illinois State has the lead and runners in the corners with just one out. But if Illinois State can perhaps get out in front and get a comfortable lead. That ball will find the backstop. Closer than you thought play at home as hustling down the line was Zach Johnson. And that ball's ripped. Right in the front of Hinshaw and then behind him. One run is going to score and it's going to be two. Throw coming into the infield, a play at the plate. Here's the throw and they got him. Ashbeck is gunned down on the relay from Paul DeYoung. Ball got by Hinshaw. That is ripped, and it finally caught up to him. The one run is in, two are going to score. On his way to third is Stanton, and a big two-out base hit off the bat of Mike Hollenbeck to make the score four to one. The bottom half of the sixth inning. Hit weakly, and that is a great play by the pitcher, Flanagan, to even make an attempt at first base. But the run scores on an infield hit. About four or five other guys in the lineup, if they're running, they may be out. And now big numbers are being put up. Two runs are going to score on that base hit. That's Brett Kay. And now the ball gets away. And into third base is Beasley. So a big two out base hit, two run single, and Illinois State has blown it open. It's just not going to happen. You got to abbreviate everything. You got to push up everything, and there's still dew on the grass when the first pitch is thrown. That ball is ripped. That's the ball, and game. that is the ball game. Run rule in effect, and Illinois State has just defeated the Bradley Braves by an 11 to one final. 11 runs on 16 hits for Illinois State. Bradley Braves, one run on four hits. There was one error. We'll be back with the...